discuss new chapters capital and revenue expenditures and receipts the basic objective of accounting is to ascertain the result of business for as accounting period and present the financial positions correctly while ascertaining business transaction result and preparing financial statement that is trading profit and loss accounts and balance sheets it is necessary that the various transactions are analyzed as to their nature namely whether they are capital or revenue transactions the dis- distinctions between the capital and revenue is essential to decide whether a particular transaction is to be shown in income statement that is trading or profit and loss account or in balance sheet revenue items are included in various income statement and capital items are shown in it the balance sheets hence it is a necessary to have the knowledge of criteria for deciding whether a particular expenditures or receipts each of revenue natures or capital natures so transactions is divided into two capital nature and revenue natures so first capital natures can be divided into two capital expenditure and capital receipts so these two items shown in balance sheets and here revenue revenue can be also divided into two revenue expenditures and revenue receipts so these two will be shown in income statements so here classification of expenditures first there are three types of class a expenditures first one capital expenditures second one revenue expenditures and third one deferred revenue expenditures so we will discuss here one by one these three so first capital expenditure may be defined as an expenditures whose benefit extended to more than one years which is normally a non recurring that means a non recurring expenditures is one which by its nature it is quite infrequent in nature for example building purchase land purchase etc thus capital expenditure is an expenditure which is incurred to acquire an assets that means the tangible or intangible assets and to increase the profit earning capacity of the business and to afford the long term advantage of the business to acquire the right to carry on the business and in setting the profit earning machinery in motions so benefit benefit of capital expenditures its benefit is not fully consumed in one accounting period its benefit is spread over one period so accounting treatment capital expenditures are debited to the respective asset account second one such expenses are taken to balance sheets and shown on the asset sides so example of capital expenditures first one expenditures resulting in the acquisitions of long lived assets that is the land building machinery plant furniture etc second one expenditures resulting in an extension or improvement of fixed assets example gracia amount spent on increasing the sitting accommodations in a cinema halls remodeling of an old stations etc third one expenditures incurred for the purchase or installations or erections of fixed assets that is wages incurred on erecting a plant and fourth one expenditures incurred for acquiring the right to carry on business that is goodwill copyright patent right etc and for fifth one expenditure incurred for substitutions of a new assets for an existing assets so now this one so the second one is revenue expenditures so revenue expenditure is an expenditure which is incurred to maintain the earning capacity or product productivity of a business to carry out operating activity in the normal course of running of the business thus revenue expenditures may be defined as the expenditures whose benefit is to exhausted that means consumed in which one accounting period and which is incurred in the course of regular business transactions of a concern the benefit of revenue expenditure is consumed within one accounting periods an accounting treatment of revenue expenditure is 
it is a debited to trading accounts or profit and loss accounts for example cost of goods sold purchased cost of goods purchased for resale repairs replacement and renewals depreciation of fixed assets wages salary rent rate and taxes administrative expenses selling and distribution expenses interest on loan for the business third one deferred revenue expenditures so a heavy revenue expenditures the benefit of which may be extended over a number of years and not for the current years only is called deferred revenue expenditures so according to the guidance note on the terms used in financial statement deferred revenue expenditure is that expenditures for which payment has been made or a liability incurred but which is carried forward on the prejunctions that will be of benefit over a subsequent period or periods deferred revenue expenditures are sometimes called capitalized expenditures for example preliminary expenses brokerage on issue of shares and debentures discount on issue of shares and debentures heavy amount spent on advertisement research and development expenses and exceptional repairs incurred in shifting the business to a more convenient premises so features the following are the features of deferred revenue expenditure it is a capitalized revenue expenditures its benefit is not consumed in one year only in which it is incurred it is accidental and normally heavy in amount it is not charged against the profit of one year only a part of expenditure is taken to profit and loss account of the years in which it is incurred and its unwritten of portions is shown in the balance sheets as miscellaneous expenditures so accounting treatment first ones is as the benefit from the deferred revenue expenditures accrues in future period also it is not charged to profit and loss account of current years it is capitalized second one it is a written off over a number of years usually usually 3 to 5 years portions of deferred revenue expenditures to be written off in a particular accounting years is treated as and expenses and transfers to profit and loss accounts thus if the benefit of advertisement may continue for say 5 years then only one fifth of this expenditure should be considered as a revenue expenditures for the year and taken to profit and loss accounts and the rest of rest to balance sheets and fourth one portions of deferred revenue expenditures not written off at the end of the period said and to be written off in the subsequent accounting years is recorded on the asset side of the balance sheets i hope that this three expenditures you can understand i have so many topics in this chapters i will be discussed later in my next video for the time if you are still not subscribe my channel i request you to subscribe for more accounting video thank you very much